Harry made a desperate plea for peace. Will the Duke continue to bash his family in new memoir? Prince Harry has taken the devil's route by choosing to publish a tell-all memoir about his life, in the year his grandmother reaches her 70th anniversary on the throne, according to a royal expert. The royal reporter Rupert Bell believes the Duke of Sussex should not press ahead with plans for his memoirs which promise to tell an accurate and wholly truthful story of the prince's life as it will drive a further divide through his family and overshadow the Queen's landmark year. Mr. Bell stressed how there are other ways to deal with his feelings towards the family and this is the wrong route to take. Mr. Bell said, I just think it is sad that he wants to drag his family through the dirt, it just feels wrong. If he is as loyal as he talks about in that documentary on Prince Philip, to the institution then this is not what he should be doing. The royal reporter went on to claim the loyalty Harry speaks of is undermined given the release of his memoirs in the same year the Queen is celebrating a momentous occasion with her platinum jubilee. He blasted, in America he may be going around and being faded left right and center as we saw in New York and every fawning at the feet of Meghan and Harry, well fine, get on with it. But if he wants privacy, don't make your family have to go through this. The journalist went on to say how aspects of the royal family have not had good press in recent weeks, referencing Prince Andrew's ongoing court case involving accuser Vergnia Jufri. Andrew denies all claims made by Ms. Jufri. Mr. Bell continued questioning why Harry feels the need to do it as he said a tell-all memoir comes at a bad time for the family. He suggested, if he wants to get on and cut his path with the family, don't do books. But now you have split from the family, why can't he just leave well alone? The reporter stressed how despite demands for Harry to reign in the book, ultimately the Duke of Sussex has got himself stuck in a web of contracts with companies who will want bang for their buck. Mr. Bell noted, Unfortunately he has gone into these huge commercial deals and the people who he has done the deals with want something that will sell because they haven't come cheap. He concluded by saying the prince is now caught between the devil and the deep blue sea suggesting how unfortunately it appears he has taken the devil's route against the royal family. The couple moved to the U.S. with their firstborn child Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor and recently added a daughter to their brood following the birth of Lilibet Diana in June. While critics of the Sussexes argue their global appeal is down to their royal connections a psychiatrist has argued otherwise claiming the couple have themselves to thank for their popularity in the U.S. Psychiatrist and clinical assistant professor at NYU's Longoni Medical Center Dr. Sooth Arma told, for many Americans, Prince Harry and Meghan's work speaks for itself. Since being in the States, the Sussexes have been busy, they have signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify carried a number of charity engagements and launched their own non-profit organization Archul. Dr. Varma claims that while their tie to Britain's monarchy may be why some Americans first became interested in the couple, now people are more interested in Meghan and Harry's work and what comes next for them. The academic said, while their royal ties will always have paramount importance and the reason for our interest, because of our endless fascination with the royals, their work and platform has taken on a whole new meaning. Her comments come following the Duke and Duchess exclusive interview with Oprah Winfrey, which saw the world glued to their screens to witness a series of allegations they made against the monarchy. During the two-hour interview, the couple spoke of their step back and made a series of sensational claims against the firm including the claim one senior royal discussed the color of their son Archie's skin with Harry.